Hey guys, how do you show integrity with God? Great question. It starts with how you talk to Him. Thank you so much, God. That was awesome. So God, I have a question. Oh God, I am so mad. God, why did you let that happen? God, I really messed up big this time. Um, can you forgive me? Okay, if you're confused, that was just a sample of some of my prayers to God this past week. Prayer is just talking to God. And many kids think, this is how you pray. Oh, heavenliest Father, forgive us my sins and give your blessings and faithfulness on my eternal soul. But really, prayer should look more like this. So God, I had a really tough day today, and I feel like I could use your help to be patient with my parents because I kind of snapped at them. By the way, I'm really sorry about that. We're in a series about integrity, and integrity means choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do. Do you know God wants us to show integrity when we pray to him? We're going to talk more about that in just a bit. But first, stand up wherever you are and worship with us. Okay, okay, I think it's on. <laughs> oh. Hello, my name is Brandon, and this is the so-and-so show because I'm so smart and so cool. Watch me do the robot.
<laughs> oh. Thank you. But seriously, I can't do the show without John. He's the best co-host I could ask for. John may be the best co-host out of all the co-hosts in the country. Nay, the universe. It should be the John and John show. You should definitely tell John how awesome he is next time you see him. Maybe in a tweet or a positively worded social media post. Hashtag John is the grooviest. John, what are you doing? Nothing. Are you wearing the mask of me again? What mask? Hand it over. Come on, just a little more fun. No, it's confusing. Hand it over. Fine. Here. Thank you. What happens when I put this on? No. No. Brandon! Oh, uh, don't! <laughs> How do I look? Uh... Hello everyone, my name is Brandon. And I'm John. And this is the So-and-So Show. <laughs> what was that? Oh, don't worry about it. It's this. It's got a phantom. A phantom? Yeah, you know, like the musical, the Phantom of the Opera, where there's a guy in a mask that wreaks havoc all over a Paris opera house. It's it's like that, but but here. Yeah. Huh. He's the phantom of my basement. <laughs> <laughs> It's really annoying. Why is he here? Please don't ask that. Oh, you will know, John. You will know very soon why I am here. I, I hired an exterminator, but, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but, <laughs> okay, okay, we get it. Should we, um, Invite him on, you know, maybe as a, someone who knows stuff? No, don't encourage him. He'll just try to take over. You can't stop me from taking over, John! <laughs> just ignore him. What are we gonna do today? Uh, well, I, I thought that uh, we could play a game. Okay. I thought that we could pretend that we were sheep, right? And then one of us could... I'm sorry, I don't think I can ignore this. It's just too distracting. <laughs> John, you've got to do something about that. It's actually not that bad once you get used to it. Hello, fellas. Oh, hello, Sylvia. Well, how are things today? Oh, just fine, thank you. How are things with you? Oh, same old, same old. Just trying to keep things clean. Wouldn't want things to get messy. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't want that. <laughs> uh. Oh, well, I guess I'll be leaving now mm, to do my job. Nothing mysterious. <laughs> okay. See you, Silvio. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> Who is that, John? That's Silvio. That's my basement's custodian. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know your basement had a custodian. But you don't think this place keeps its shining glory all by itself, do you? <laughs> He's clearly the phantom, though, right? What? No. No. The, the no. phantom wears a mask. All right. Silvio doesn't wear a mask. Yeah, but has he been here as long as the phantom has? Yes. Does he... Say creepy things and stare off into the distance all the time? Yes, of course, but all custodians all right, look, do that. Here's a picture of Silvio. All right. And now. <gasps> I left the stove on. Oh, <laughs> almost burned my skedios. Oh, hey, it's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys, 
Hey, Kellen. Hey, Kellen. Hello, Kellen. Whoa! Uh, what was that? Phantom. Huh. Maybe, maybe you could talk in private. I'll call you. Will this work? Sure. Why not? I just want to make one adjustment. Whoa, Kellen, what happened? You look shiny. Well, that's a filter. Those are the buttons at the bottom of the screen. People use them for social media all the time. Filters make us look better than we feel. Well, they can also do this. Whoa, whoa. Ah. Do you guys smell something in here? Woo! <laughs> All right, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it here, hold on. Oh, look at me, I'm so studious. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, I think I've lost control here. All right, filters off. Oh, yeah. Like I was saying, filters make you look better than you actually are. Here, I can look cool. Sir. Or I can be rich and famous. Hello, I'm rich and famous. Or you don't like where you're at? You can be somewhere else, like the beach. Or even Paris, France. Oh. Or even Outer space! Ooh, I'm in outer space! You can be anywhere you want, and you can be anyone you want. With filters, no one has to know if you're sad or angry or embarrassed or awkward. Filters can always make you the best version of you. Yeah, that's a good story, Kellen. I don't think he's gotten to the story yet. Ah. Uh. It's not really a story, actually. It's more of a verse. Check it out. God is faithful and fair. If we confess our sins, he will forgive our sins. He will forgive every wrong thing we have done. He will make us pure. You see, God wants to see when we're sad or angry or embarrassed or awkward. And he wants us to tell him when we've broken the rules or made a choice we don't feel good about. He wants us to come to him unfiltered. Even though it may be hard to be yourself with others, you can always be yourself with God because he loves you and he will forgive you of every wrong thing you've ever done. And that, my friends, puts a smile on my face. Me too. Me three. Well, I'll see you when I see you guys. Bye, Kellen. You know, I think I probably do hide my real self sometimes, mm. but I've learned I don't have to do that with God. Oh, yeah, and I've learned only text LOL to someone if I've literally laughed out loud. Otherwise, it'd be like lying, right? I guess. I have also learned something. What have you learned, Phantom? This. What? Silvio? Yes, John. I know. I left no clue. What an unexpected reveal. Ah, yes. Reveal the question. What do you talk to God about? Uh, yeah, I mean, for me, it could be anything. I tell God about my day. My hopes and dreams. My greatest fears, like antique furniture. And now, I must leave you. Wait! Are you still gonna clean here? Well, consider this my two weeks notice. Is that the only way he can leave a room? What do you talk to God about? Talk about it with each other. Or just talk about it with God. Oh, even better. And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>
That was perfect timing. That was perfect timing. So what kind of things do you talk about with God? Do you thank him for stuff? Tell him how awesome he is? Ask him for things? Ask him for forgiveness? Talk about it with your family and then meet back here. This week, talk to God like you would talk to your best friend. Be the real you. Don't try to talk fancy using spiritual words. Just be yourself. And if you don't know what to say, try this. When you mess up, ask him for forgiveness. If you have a rough day, tell him about it. If you need help, ask him for help. If you see something awesome, thank God for it. You get the idea. Be the real you when you talk to God and talk to him about whatever you think of. Well, that's it for me. Don't forget to download the home guide this week from the MEC website or the MEC app. Parents, it's full of activities designed to help you go deeper with everything we talked about today. And if you need help knowing how to pray, check out MEC Kids TV, our YouTube channel. We have videos like this designed to teach you the basics of how to talk to God. See you next week.